everyone, I am back with a very short clip this time. I've just had a client text me saying that she always wants to do our ab series, the Pilates ab series, when she's at home and then she forgets all of the moves. So I'm just going to do a quick blast which focuses all on the abdominals and your obliques and you can squeeze it in within about five minutes, probably even less. So let us come down to our mats please. I want you to draw your knees into your chest. Just give your back a gentle rock side to side and keep pulling those knees closer to you. So much so, the back of the pelvis is almost hovering off of the mat and already we've got a little bit of a connection there. Come to centre and when you're ready, just bring your eyebrows up to your knees. Now it's really about keeping those shoulder blades lifted here because if we start to get tired, our head starts falling back and it goes into the throat, into the front of the neck. So I want you please to think if my legs aren't in the way, my gaze would be halfway up the wall in front of me. And what I see often is people looking up to the ceiling. So keep your gaze to the horizon. Let's just take our hands onto our right shin. Have your elbows wide. Your left leg is about a 45 degree diagonal. You've got energy coming through the tips of the toes. And then when you're ready, just lift those shoulder blades up a bit more and maintain that height. I want you to switch and switch. So we're going to do two switches on an inhale and two on an exhale. So your breaths are pretty long in Pilates. We don't want to switch on an inhale and switch on an exhale. Otherwise, we're going to start hyperventilating. Can we just get those shoulder blades up a little bit higher? Focus on where your gaze is. Remember, it's directly in front of you, half the way up that wall. And by having your elbows wide, you're creating openness in the chest and in the shoulders. Remembering this move was for a stomach massage. That's what Joseph Pilates wanted from it. A massage of your digestive system. Can I just get six more, please? Maintain the height of those shoulders. So one knee pulls all the way in, and the other leg goes as long as possible. There's no flopping here. The leg is strong. Let's go for three and switch for three. And two and switch for two. Shoulders higher. One and switch for one. Pull both knees in. Take your head down. Take your feet down and just take a full body stretch for me. Just lengthen out through your centre. Take a couple of breaths here. Think about trying to touch the wall behind you with the tips of your fingers and the wall in front with your toes. And we're thinking about breathing in deeply through our nose and then exhaling completely through your mouth. Couple more breaths. If your neck began to take over in that last move, you're just gonna turn your head from side to side so you release it. When you're ready, we come back in with those knees. I want you to once again bring your eyebrows to your knees this here, your torso doesn't move from here. You don't steadily start falling back. When you're tired, you think about lifting higher. Double leg stretch. Reach your arms and legs. You're like a V shape, capital V. Circle your arms and hug your knees deep into your chest. Squeeze them in. Again, it's a digestive massage. We reach long. You're working hard to stabilize. Your shoulders are high. Circle your arms wide and hug in. Can I have four, please? The inhale takes you long. The exhale stretches your arms. You squeeze every last drop of air from your lungs. We've got two. My abs are getting tired, so I feel my shoulders dropping back, and I won't let that happen. Last one, please. Reach long. Sweep your arms wide. Hug your knees in. And then quickly stretch and release. You're going to need it after that move. It's a really challenging move. Again, if your neck began to ache, turn your head from side to side, let it release. So the next move is crisscross. Let us just have our fingertips to our temples. Or if your neck began to ache in that last move, create a little hammock with your hands and cradle your head. Let us have our knees into our chest, shoulders high. I want you to twist your upper body to the right hand side. Your right knee comes into your chest, your left leg long and come to center. Twist your left on the inhale. Exhale, center. We go six and center. And we go to the left for six. 
and center. Keep those elbows wide. We go five. Shoulders high up center. And switch for five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bring out the waist. Exhale, we've got two more I think. Shoulders higher at center. Two. And center, one more each way, bring out the waist. Last one. And take another full body stretch. I'm really feeling that. I find crisscross such a challenging move, but we get so much from it. You've got the upper abdominals working, the lower abdominals pulling your knees in, and all through your obliques, those muscles that just whittle down your waist, but the rotation in your spine is so important as well. So stretching long, couple of breaths, and then when you're ready, your knees come into your chest again. Okay, taking our legs up to the ceiling, take your hands up your right leg, up to your ankle, your calf, wherever you can reach. You lower your left leg, now your legs stay straight. You pull your right knee to your nose. Pull one and two and switch and one and two and switch. See, I'm just dropping my bottom leg a little bit as I pull the other leg in towards me. So it's a hip flexor release and it's a hamstring stretch. Let's go five and switch for five. And four, notice my elbows are wide again. And three and switch. And two, shoulders higher and switch. And one, and switch for one. And again, full body stretch. Couple of breaths. So the next move, again, we're gonna have our hands behind our head. So for anyone who grips on in the neck, this is gonna be much nicer for it. Let us just have our knees into our chest again. Head, neck and shoulders high, higher. Legs up to the ceiling, double leg lower. Flex your feet and lower. And point and lift. Now, you might just be able to lower a couple of inches with your heels, and that might, might be enough for you tonight. Point and lift. Explore it. Your body will tell you if you're going too low. Two more. Flex and lower. Go to your point. Point and lift. Last one. Flex and lower. Point and lift and stretch out one last time. Just creating length here through the abdominals. You can tell my heart rate's up a little bit. I'm panting a little bit. There is cardio work in Pilates. Oh, so, hopefully you will practice that. Great for if we're gonna go on holiday and we might be wearing a bikini later on in the year. But also, when we're strong around here, we're strong for our spine and everything is a little bit more supported. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you practice it. Let me know how you get on. Bye.